Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to fight competition with Google ads. Now, as more and more people kind of jump on to Google ads from Facebook ads or whatever other platform they may be using, it becomes increasingly more competitive. That is no lie. But I personally believe that a lot of people kind of over exaggerate the whole competition idea behind advertising and they kind of use it as a reason to just stop using that given advertising platform. Now I get it. I've personally faced competition many times before in my dropshipping journey over the past two to three years, even on Facebook as well as Google. But when it comes to Google specifically, I believe that competition itself should not be one of the main reasons why you're not able to find any success so far. There's a lot of different ways as to how competition can impact your ads, how you even know that there's increasing competition for your product, and in the end, how to deal with it. But in this video, by the end of the video, you're going to know how to deal with competition and how to get more sales with Google. So stick till the end. But without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. So how to deal with competition with Google Ads. The first thing you're going to have to do if you really want to find the best success with Google is destroy that like button down below. Just kidding. But hopefully you do do that anyways. I really appreciate it. Okay, hopefully you have done that. But the first thing that I want to start off this video with is actually discussing what it actually even means when it comes to specifically competition with Google Ads because this word is thrown out a little more than often and it's important to know what competition with Google specifically means. So in my own opinion, and this is my opinion again, but competition with Google means that there are more than five to seven other dropshippers selling a specific product. Now, before I even continue on from that specific statement, I want to go ahead and go over to a specific example I have for you guys. And this example product is the blackhead remover. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen this product previously, maybe on Facebook as well. But this product is one of the most saturated products both on Facebook as well as Google. Now, when I say that there's more than five to seven competitors selling that given product, I'm referring to specific dropshippers. So if we just go ahead and scroll through the specific search for the blackhead remover, we're going to see a lot of different specific dropshippers coming up. As you can see, Fabulous Skin Co., Lux Skin, So Trendify. These specific stores are really clearly dropshippers because of their names. As you go down the list, there's just an increasing amount of dropshippers for a product. This clearly is a competitive product. You could even maybe call it saturated, but I'll talk more about what saturation is later on in the video. But this is definitely a competitive product because it has more than five to seven drop shipping competitors. But in addition, if you don't really see any other competitors, you can know that it's a competitive product or maybe even a saturated product if there's very little to no profit margins available. Now, when it comes to me personally, I like to have a minimum of $20 profit margin if I want to go ahead and list a product on my store and try to sell it. So if there's anything less than $20, I won't even bother listing that product. In this case, if you start to see that the specific profit margin for a given product is much lower than $20, maybe $5, 10 15 meaning you get the product on AliExpress for $10, but then you can't sell it for more than maybe $20 or $25, that is a clear indicator that there's other competitors out there, hence why you have to price the product so low. Because it's not always going to be the case where you'll see a bunch of different dropshipping competitors. There's many different reasons as to why a specific dropshipper at any given time may not be ranking within the top five listings. As you guys see over here, some of these specific reasons could be that they have a low quality score. Maybe they're not bidding enough. Maybe their pricing is too high. Maybe their image is very bad, etc. But in general, these two are the specific methods that I look at to really determine if there's a lot of competition with Google. Google ads for my specific products or not. But once you have kind of identified that there is competition or there's not competition, you want to kind of know what the effect of competition is for the products that you're selling. And it doesn't really matter if you're already running a Google ad store or you plan to run your dropshipping store with Google ads. You want to know what the effects are of competition. The effect number one is that you're going to generally be seeing a decreased amount of search impression share or click share, as well as decreased amounts of impressions. Now, these specific metrics you can directly view from your dashboard for your Google ads account. And I highly recommend that you do check these out every few days or so to see how your campaigns are performing. Because remember, if your search impression share or your click share or your impressions in general for any given campaign start to decrease, that is a very clear indicator that there could be more competition 
coming into the market for any given product. But in addition to that, when it comes to increases, you want to be looking for an increase in CPC and cost per purchase or an increase in lost IS rank. These three specific metrics, again, which can be found within your Google Ads dashboard are clear indicators that something is not right when it comes to competition. Maybe there's more people entering the market. And looking at these specific numbers really gives you a better idea of as to how your products are doing and whether it would be ideal for you to continue on with the strategy that you're currently using for your specific products. But again, these things are specifically what I look at when it comes to specifically determining whether the competition has increased in my specific campaigns or my specific products. And if so, I also use these specific metrics to determine what product is affected and how I can solve it. But before I go any further as to talking about what the strategy is, I want to go over exactly what saturation even means with Google. Because again, this word gets thrown out quite often. So saturation, in my opinion, there is no such thing as saturation. And hold on, before you exit this video thinking I'm some crazy guy, hear me out. The reason why I don't think that there is specifically saturation in a market is because there's only real saturation if you do everything the exact same as your competition. That means you're using the same image as them, you're using the same titles as them, and you're using the same description as them. For example, if I wanted to sell the blackhead remover and I wanted to kind of mimic this specific store, this product would definitely be very saturated for me if I went ahead and I used the same image as this one right here, or maybe this one, and maybe use the same title as this specific store or maybe this one and I try to sell it at exactly $37 maybe even more to get more profits in this case it would definitely be saturated for this specific product why because I'm doing exactly the same things as my competition of course with Google Ads if you have been watching my other videos you know that the best way to get sales with Google is by standing out of the crowd and one of the easiest ways to stand out of the crowd is by having a different image maybe having a different title maybe having a lower price or being the average of your top five competitors these are literally some of the best ways to kind of stand out of the crowd and get more results with your Google Ads. But even for a product like this, I would really not say that it is really saturated simply because there are many different ways that you can still continue selling this specific product. And that is what I'm going to be talking about next when it comes to the strategy. But just remember that there's no real such thing as saturation with Google Ads unless you try to copy somebody else. In that case, saturation definitely applies for you. But let's start talking about the specific strategy and exactly how to fight the overall competition, maybe even how to fight saturation. So the first thing you want to understand is that when it comes to specific saturation, there's only so much you can do with any given product because any given product in the market has a specific market cap, meaning that you can't really showcase it to more people than those that are already searching for the product. And I would like to go back to my famous example I use all the time in a lot of my Google Ads videos. If you haven't already checked them out, do check out my free Google Ads playlist. It's on my channel. But one of the main examples is that of a spaceship. If only 10,000 people are searching for a spaceship to buy on Google every month, you can't really force your spaceship to get sold 20,000 times because the market cap for that product is 10,000. No matter how much you bid, no matter what your budget is, it's only going to be able to be shown to those 10,000 people. And that is exactly what is the main issue when it comes to Google. If we compare this to Facebook, it's a much different story simply because there is no real market cap as long as you continue finding new audiences maybe you start using lookalikes and you can scale any given product to a very very large distance but with Google it's kind of a different story so in that case one of the best ways to fight that competition and just fight the overall market cap is to introduce more products within the same niche so for instance if you go back to the blackhead remover example if I wanted to sell within the skin or beauty niche or maybe even the blackhead removing niche what I would do is instead of just selling this kind of specific blackhead remover I would go out on AliExpress or wherever I source my product products and I would try to find more different styles of blackhead removers and add all of them to my store. So instead of having one specific product from my store trying to compete with all of these competitors, I'll have multiple products competing within any given auction amongst these other competitors. And the beauty about Google ads is that Google is going to identify every single different style you have as one individual product. So in this case, every single blackhead remover you have on your store, it's going to be entering the auction individually. And that's just going to increase your chances of having your specific blackhead remover, any one of them or multiple of them appear in the top five to the top 10. So that's actually one of the easiest ways to kind of fight the competition, maybe even fight the saturation, just introduce more products within that specific niche. Now let's move on to method number two, and that is duplicating any given product or products that are doing well for you 
and changing the main image. Again, this is kind of like applying strategy number one, but instead of introducing more products, we're just introducing the same product in mean, multiple different auctions. Because again, every different product that you have on your store, it enters the auction individually, and that increases your chances of having that specific product or products get shown within that auction. So if you duplicate the product that you have that is selling well and change the main image, not only are you gonna be able to test different images for that given product and maybe even find a winning image for that product, product which has a higher CTR but also you can have these two products competing individually and entering the auction individually so that could increase your chances of getting more sales now of course there will be slight competition with yourself in this case but it's not going to be too much of a big deal especially if there's high amounts of search volume for any given product but this is another method of easily finding competition just duplicate your product and then change the image so that you can both test the image as well as try to maybe even get more sales but let's move on to method number three and this is Kind of an easy method is just increasing the bid because again your specific quality score and where you're ranking within the other competitors is also determined by the bid is determined by your overall quality score and your quality score is again influenced by your bid as well as your ctr so you can surely try changing the specific image that you have for your product and try to see if you can increase your ctr organically but in addition to that you can try increasing your bid to find the competition because in the end google wants your money and google is a business as well so it's going to kind of favor those people who have a higher bid as well but that is not always the case especially if you have a very very high ctr if if you want to learn more about how Google optimizes its campaigns, go ahead and watch the Google Ads campaign optimization video. I'll leave the link in the description below for that. But this is method number three, and just simply by increasing the bids. Let's move on to method number four, and that is increasing the budget. Now, this is kind of like number three, but in this case, we're just only increasing the budget. And what I've noticed is that when I specifically increase the budget for any specific product with a lot of competition, Google likes to try to spend as much of the budget as possible because, again, Google is a business itself it wants to get as much of your money as possible so by increasing the bid you're kind of putting yourself out there to be ranking for more and more auctions and that's exactly what google is going to do it's going to try to rank you for more auctions and you may see that you're starting to rank for newer keywords because of this so this is actually one of the easiest ways to kind of just fight your competition well and just this by increasing the budget so that you can rank for more auctions within more keywords but of course if you go back to the market cap there's only so much that you can increase the budget to before you start to notice that this is also limiting your performance and you're not finding any bigger benefits but let's move on to our next specific method which can actually help you fight off that market cap to a very very good size and that is by simply doing seo optimization now seo optimization is actually what one of the most important things you can do for your campaigns because that is like doing house cleaning for your house so that it stays nice and organized and clean because if your house is clean only then can you move around the house freely you can save time while moving around the house and you don't have to kind of pick up stuff or move through obstacles on your way throughout your home that's the same when it comes to your google ads campaigns and seo optimization doing seo optimization meaning excluding bad keywords looking at the specific audiences maybe decreasing or increasing audience bids device bids etc etc these things kind of clean up your google ads campaign and make it available to rank for even more specific keywords and these new keywords could be more winning keywords for you so if you're not really sure as to how to do seo optimization again i'll leave a link for it in the description below but seo optimization is another thing you can definitely be using to fight off this competition but let's cover our last specific method and that is creating niche stores around winning products now this may not be the easiest method to go about this which is why it is last on my list but this is one of the better options if you want to really create something from drop shipping that is more long term and sustainable simply creating niche stores can have a very very big impact on your conversion rates you can get much more return audience for your products and there can be just more benefits when it comes to building a real brand long term so creating niche stores is actually one of the last methods you can be using to specifically fight off competition but that was the overall generic strategy as to how you can fight competition with google ads if you found any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time